Hey guys, welcome back to another upload. Now, I'm really, really frustrated, really frustrated because I've come to a place that I've never been before. I've always wanted to come here, right? But the thing is, right, at right now, at the minute, I'm just not really in a creative mindset. So at the minute, I'm in a mood where I'd ra much rather go live. I want to go live and t bring you guys with me. I'm really enjoying doing lives right now. I'm really enjoying bringing you guys with me. However, at the minute, the signal is bad. Like, I don't know what it is. Gif Gaff, I'm with Gif Gaff. Gif Gaff, you are an absolute joke of an internet provider. You really are. What do we pay unlimited data for if we don't get unlimited data so yeah so i've decided to just cut the stream and i'm gonna have to do a video after all but it's been a while it's been a while i haven't done a video in a while but i am in runcorn and as you all know the famous iconic program of two pints of lager and a packet of crisps so let's see what runcorn has to offer So big respect to these guys here, just been having a natter with these, um, told them it's my first time here in Runcorn and they said yeah you're walking in there completely, <laughs> every time, <laughs> sorry about that, uh, yeah they said you're walking in the completely wrong direction, you want to be going that way, so you know what I mean, it is what it is, obviously someone was trying to help me out on my live, that's another reason for going live, so people from this area can guide me, do you know what I mean, so yeah I'm at the minute I'm just on the canal, walking down the canal and yeah these guys have just said do you want to carry on walking as far as you can this way and you will pass everything there, so it's an adventure at the end of the day, you know. It is an adventure. What, what you know, like is, little dogs, is, don't you? Yeah. <laughs> Look at the shy. She's beautiful, isn't he, Ozzy? He's beautiful. What kind is he? A chihuahua. A chihuahua. He's stunning. Boy. They look like little foxes, don't they? They do. They're tiny they do little foxes. And sometimes he runs, and it reminds me of a squirrel. You know the way he runs? Oh, beautiful. Beautiful. <laughs> He's so sweet, isn't he, Ozzy? <laughs> What's he called? Charlie. Charlie? Charlie! Ozzy. Ozzy. Ozzy, you big bum. <laughs> Look. <laughs> oh, Charlie. Charlie. Oh, how old? 15 months. 15 months old. Still a baby then. Still a baby. baby. <laughs> oh, I wish you were still 15 months. A big oh. fat saw. <laughs> This is it, guys. This is it. <laughs> the iconic two pints of lager pub. This is it. Wow, doesn't look like much, does it? Doesn't look like much. It's not open, it's shut down. But yeah, that is it. I've just been told, like I said, off them guys, that it is now a Chinese restaurant. It's a Chinese restaurant. It's no longer a pub. So, but this is it. This is the iconic place where the gang came to drink. Let's see if we can see anything. Is there any signs up?
So yeah, that's the name of it now. <laughs> that's why it's cold now. <laughs> but this is it. This is the pub. God, I so wish it was open so I could go in it. I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted. <laughs> oh. I mean, there's nothing. There's no signs up. There's nothing to state that this was the two pints of lager pub. There's nothing. You kind of think there'd be a plaque or something up of some sort, but there's nothing. What? <laughs> Let's have a look round the back. Let's have a look round the back of it. But yeah, not much here at all in a way of knowing. If you, if you didn't know, then you wouldn't know where this pub is, this, where the pub, you just wouldn't know. There's nothing, there's absolutely nothing to signal or look like that there was a lot of filming that went on here, nothing. Let's have a look at this sign over here. See what this sign says. Right next to the canal. <laughs> it's still quite fun being here. I used to run into them doors there. <laughs> Look at this over here, that's kind of cute. Right across the way from it, a little boat shack. <laughs> Tell you what guys, I'm going to go try and go live. I'm going to try and go live again for the second time and see if it works. And let's, let's see if it works, if not, I'm, I'm not hopeful, I'm not hopeful it's going to work, but let's see. So yeah guys, as you can imagine, my live stream didn't work out too well. So I begin to make my way through what looked like a very run-down estate. Like where I am right now, I'm just surrounded by houses, like in the middle of a council estate that seems to be very run-down. Lots of closed-down pubs. Nice memorial there on the wall and that road there leads into a very small town and this is the bridge situated right next to the old famous pub there. Now, like I say, a Chinese restaurant. So yeah, I'm beginning to make my way over this bridge here and I'm not going to lie guys, walking over this bridge for the first time in my life, I felt a serious case of vertigo. And there we have the steelworks over there. So yeah, on the other side of the bridge, again, another closed down, run down pub. I don't know if it was just this particular day that I went on. It was a bank holiday, but yeah, very quiet, not much happening. Like I said, this is showing where I am right now, as you can see. Just not very much happening. Not very much really to see. Like, yeah, just houses and practically dead like it was very very quiet lots of nice locations like this spot here next to the river lovely places to sit and look across the water here now as you can see there that bridge there intro to my to this upload that's where i started my journey there i walked all the way along there past them apartments there carried on walking down there over that bridge and to this spot right here. I'll 
tell you what guys, I really, really don't know what to make of this. So as you can see, I'm just walking down here by the river and it's dead. Like, I don't know what I expected coming here, but it's just dead. Like, I've come across a few people a couple of people and the people I've come across don't get me wrong are really really lovely here the people here seem to be really nice but it's dead like I know it's a bank holiday and everything so I don't know if it's usually any busier any other day but it's dead I've only seen I've walked all the way around here and I've only seen a few people <laughs> it's dead I'm telling you now I, I don't know what to make of it I really I, I don't know I just ex I don't know what I expected but there's just nobody here does anybody live in Hong Kong does, does anyone what's I'll have to I'm gonna have to look up the population of Hong Kong <laughs> So yeah, this is me making my way back to the train station here. Now, where this train station is located, again, it's practically, as you can see, surrounded by nothing but houses. Now, the concourse that this train station is on, as we make our way over to here, is, well, it looks pretty much brand new. Like, in all fairness, it's probably the newest most cleanest and tidiest thing that I've seen all day here in Munkon. So I don't know if this is the start of a new journey for Munkon, but this, like I said, this groundwork here, there seems to be lots of building work going on. It, it does all seem pretty much brand new. So I don't know if they are making Munkon fresh and new looking and starting here at the train station. But yeah, just... Overall, a bit of a disappointing day, I'm not going to lie. Um, like I said, very lovely people that I spoke to whilst I was there. But, yeah, not much to see. So, I'm sorry for the very short upload, guys. And I will catch you on the next one.